Welcome to another edition of the Be Real TV Smoke Box with my special guest, Lil Debbie in the house. Hey. What is cracking? How have you been? I've been good. I'm lighting a blunt right now. Yeah, How see, have you been? See, you know, you're the first guest to already have it, like, started Sorry. You know, being lit up. No, that's great. You know, that's great. Just most trying to people, be ahead of the game. Most people just wait, and you, you know, you jumped on it. That's, I that's did. what's up. I can't. Like, once a blunt is rolled... It's rolled and ready to go, you know? Yeah. You chief hard. I know this because you were on the Dr. Green Thumb show some time back with us. I was. Uh, promoting something you were doing and, uh, you know, hey, you chiefed out heavy with us. I did. I That was, you know, that was my first dab ever was with you. The first dab was with us. Yes. Now, have you been, have you been dabbing, you know, more since? these days since then? Since then? Yes, you turned me out. Yes. Wow. <laughs> The Dr. Green Thumb Show does this. It does. <laughs> what, what, like, what, what grabbed you about it? About whack and dabbing? Yeah, about the dabbing, yeah. Like, what was the, you know, what sold you on it the most? For me, it's the taste. I love the taste of that shit. It, it does taste very, it depends what wax, obviously, you fuck with. I like the lighter wax compared to the darker wax. Yeah. Because I like a lighter taste. Yeah. Um, I think I just like the effect. It's yeah, quicker it's too. It's quicker, but I can't dab every day. It's like once, twice a week thing for me. Yeah. It really like flatlines me. Yeah, you gotta. Like keep... I start sweating and shit. I gotta lay down. Like I ain't got time to do all that shit. Yeah, you gotta. You take that shit slow. Mm -hmm. Word up. Now I know you've been busy because you you know you do a lot of shit, a lot of a lot of music. You stay on the road and shit like that too, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, right now you're working on a new project, correct? Yes. I have no name for my new project. To, yet. Oh, so it's to this be announced. This is like fresh. Like it's, I just, it's to be out. I, I just, can I ask right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, to, I already did. <laughs> to be announced. Yeah, so I, I just got off a tour and um, just finished California Sweetheart Part Two. Right. And um, I'm starting a new project, and I, I, right now I'm, I'm working on music, but I'm really looking. Not looking, but I'm trying to feel some inspiration. You know right. what I'm saying for a new project? I have some ideas for my new project, but nothing set in stone. But that's the fun part of right. doing a new project is you can recreate, you can be anything you want to be right. in a new Reinvent project. Reinvent yourself exactly. all the time. Exactly, evolve, progress. Yeah. It's a good time. I think a lot of artists, you know, these days are uh, good at reinventing themselves and coming, you know, back out with something different, something fresh, as opposed to staying in just one lane. Yeah, I just think it's easier for people to fake it nowadays. That too. Unfortunately. There's a lot of masks out there. A lot of masks. Do you feel the lanes opened up, you know, for uh, for women it, it is, as far as, uh, you know, what y'all are able to put out now? Um, definitely. Definitely. I think that the industry is becoming... Well, the industry is opening their mind to women being on top of the rap game. Yeah, because there's been a lot of women to come out. Well, as of late, you know, there's been women to come out and just fucking smash it. Exactly. I mean, Nicki Minaj. And, you know, Iggy, Iggy Azalea, even though, you know, some people will throw flack at her. I mean, they're still doing things, whether, exactly. you know, whether people love them or hate them. Hate they're them, still doing they're big still moves. They're still there. They're still doing the moves. Exactly. So... I just fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's amazing. Who are some of your favorites right now? My favorites right now? Or that you look or, or get inspired by? Female artists yeah. or just or, artists? Or just artists, either or. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, I I'm I'm the type of bitch I get stuck in ways. Like I'm the last person to know any type of new music. Right. But right now, um I'm on uh, the OG Mako bitch you guessed it. Right. Um I'm a huge supporter of the Bay Area, so I'm I'm listening to a lot of Cool John from HBK. Um, I listen to a lot of Mac Dre still. I mean, I was listening to Mac or Fram Alema on the way on right. in here with like Mac Mall. So a lot of my shit is the oh, it's the same recycled songs that I love that are just classics to me that I can listen to all the time. That's the type of shit that inspires me. Right. And that's what it you know that's what it should be. Exactly. I mean, but that's what inspired artists to become artists. You know the people that they you know looked up to coming up and learned from indirectly you know what i mean 
I think that's that's a part of uh, being an artist, being influenced by others to a degree, and then you make your own thing. Yeah, and then you inspire. Yeah. Others. Right on. Become a classic. That's right. I'm trying to become a classic like you. I'm trying to become oh, a classic. Oh, this hot box is getting real. It's it's, it's getting real, real sticky in here. How long you been smoking blunts? Ten years. Ten years. Wow. <laughs> so, and, and you like the swishers, right? Love the swishers. No flavored swisher. No flavored. I don't swisher. like flavored anything when I smoke. I want to Just, taste the weed. You want to taste the weed? Then you should wrap it in a white girl. Then. You'll really taste so the what? weed. What's a white girl? It's these papers. Oh, shit. That's right. That's a really cute name. I well, you know, it. think about it like this, right? How many times have you heard, you know, them, them call the weed like, you know, Mary Jane or whatever? It's 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 a female plant, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to call it a dude's name? No king this, no king that, no... You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's all female shit, so, you know, wrap it up in a white girl. That's all I'm saying. I like that. That's, like that. that's you that's know. That's very creative of you. But, in, you know, you if you like rolling blunts, that's cool, too. You're you know, always so. doing it first. I'm trying. Like I said, my first dab was with you. Turned me out. Oh, shit. Took my dab virginity. Popped oh, my dab cherry. Man. Wow. All types of shit. I lost mine many moons ago. <laughs> You were like dabbing before people even knew what dabbing was, huh? Now, you know, I was actually kind of late on it for, for you know, for where I am at in the in the, in the the whole culture and shit. I respect the honesty. I was a little late on it. Like, you know, I always hit hash and, and, and shit like that. But the dabbing came a little bit later. Like, I was vaping and, and all that stuff. But, like, the, on the nail, that came a little later for me. That's what I'm saying. I used to know, like, they used to have the hash and, like, the crumble you put in the yeah. blunt. I've done right. that. Yeah. With, like, you would lay it over the weed. That all day. Or, like, inside the swisher before you put the weed in. And then we were doing a thing that even, you know, these guys haven't done yet, which is, uh, it's called the giggle stick. Where you take... That sounds so cute. <laughs> you take the hash and you flatten it out like it's paper. And then you, uh, you put the weed in there and roll the, roll the hash up like it's a blunt. And you put it on a funky field tip if you should have one, and you should have one. It's the glass. I know tip, these right? are. This is actually. I'm wearing. I wear lipstick. Yeah. So this is amazing for me, especially if I was like in a session. Yeah. And, and you, I had to pass it. I could just like wipe it off just before. Wipe it off, yeah. Because I wear lipstick on that bitch. The glass tip. See how it goes. But you you wrap the giggle stick around that, and then the you you stick. blaze it, and you have to smoke it upwards like that, so that the hash burns downward. Because if you try to hold it like a regular joint, it'll just droop and fall in your lap and burn the shit out of you. That sounds crazy. So, it sounds like too, anything that's too hard for me to smoke, I don't want to smoke. Yeah, so we were doing shit like that. But, you know, the, the dabbing was, you know, people were had been doing it for a couple years already. Maybe, maybe a year. I wasn't that far behind it. But it just didn't, you know, I, I was like more of a joint smoker at that point like eh, I'm not gonna fucking bother with that and then somebody just told me man it tastes so much so much better than just a joint because it cuts out the middle the middle man in, or the middle woman whatever however you want to strip it I like that it takes it it takes it out by taking the flower and going to a, to the purest form and so when I tried it I thought yeah this shit does taste good but like doing it every day, all day, nah, fuck no, you'll be, become a zombie. But there's a lot of motherfuckers that do because they got the high tolerance. So shout out to you motherfuckers. Yeah, for real. I got this bitch that always punks me to take dabs. And then afterwards, I'm like sweating and shit and I got to go lay down. I'll be like, bitch, I'm been back like 15 minutes. I just need 15. Only 15. Only 15. I just need to lay down and some, lay it out real quick. Some people need 45. Like, I don't know. I cannot. Have you been seeing the dabs where they take the wax and it's like a long string and they oh, yeah. do it in like one hit? Yeah, that shit is crazy. Like, what are you at? Like, what? What? So that's yeah, what I feel I'm like you're almost wasting wax. Some people have the tolerance. I can't. I don't have no tolerance for that type of shit. That shit is crazy. But and you know what? You know what also? I'm sorry about the thing about dabbing is, as a female, 100 pounds, 5'3", little girl, it's easy for me to put my weed in the grinder, even though I don't like to use a grinder. Right. Grind it up real fast, break a swisher down, empty the guts, roll it up, light it. Right. With dabbing, 
you got to get the torch. Right. You can't use a lighter. You need the torch. You got to, first of all, I can't light the torch with one hand. Yeah. I don't know if anybody can do that. I don't know if that's a thing, but I can't. Like, I need two hands. Right? And then you got to hold it and put it on the nail right. But there's an angle. Right. You got to have the torch on the nail. Right. And you're like, fuck. Okay. So, I'm lighting it. And then, and then you got to take the thing, the dab of wax. What is that thing called that you put the wax on? Um, yeah, the, the dab tool. Yeah, what is it? Like a pencil? It looks like a, I have one that looks like a pencil. Yeah. It's cute. It's whatever. I mean, it, Those are cute. Everybody has a different one. Yeah, whatever. The creativity. It's all cute and shit. So then you got to put that on there and then you got to put a carb cap over it yeah. and then you got to hit it. But all at this, you can't even, you got to watch where you touch because you can't burn yourself. You don't want to burn the fuck out of yourself. Like, if that's not so much for me to have to fuck your, I'm so clumsy. <laughs> Like, I'm clumsy as fuck. I'm just, like, that bitch that I'm a clumsy-ass bitch. Like, I forget how to walk and all this shit. So, dabbing, it's like... <sighs> yeah, it's a bit... <sighs> it's a bit <sighs> much, <sighs> you know, but once you get the pattern so much of it... Going on. Once you get the pattern of it, it's not so bad. Dude, I'm never gonna get over having to light a torch with two hands. Yeah, you need an e-nail. Like, ever. If you had an e-nail... But that's, like, way too serious. And it looks like smoke and crack. That's, that's, you know, that's the, the complaint that most stoners have about that. that Let don't me check my makeup. Can I do that? <laughs> oh my God, thank God I didn't break it. <laughs> I think you're cool. Can I do things like that in here? I don't know. I don't know either, but I'm totally going to look. Oh, I'm cute. <laughs> yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> I'm good to go. Sometimes you got to do that. You know, when you're a girl in a car, you got to look at your makeup and shit. Right. You know? Word up. Like the whole thing falls on me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about clumsy. Or maybe it's just like karma or like bad luck or some shit. Ah, you never know. You could just be stoned. We, we are in the smoke box. Yo, after this hot box, like my eyes, I just want to talk to you with my eyes closed. It's not even that I'm that high. It's that my eyes fucking hurt. Yeah. Do your but eyes not hurt? I got the glasses on. <laughs> Yo, but does that shade the smoke? Be yeah. real. It actually don't shade the smoke. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm burning too. <laughs> it kind of hurts, Just right? Just like this weed. Hell yeah. So what's next for you? You going on tour again or? or uh, yeah, I'm going back out once, on the road. Once you put this new record out. Right? You know, I'm such a bitch. I don't call my touring touring. Like, I just call money runs. Money runs? I just like go out for a certain go amount of money. time and I come back. But I'm expecting to go out again soon. Um, on the 10th, I have a show with Juicy J out here in LA, so Dope. that's exciting for me. Where's that? I think at a warehouse. Oh, at a warehouse? I don't know. I'm like the worst person ever. I never know shit. I just like show up. I'm they could like, get hey. it on your website though, right? Yeah, it's on Twitter, Instagram, Debbie Cakes for 20 Twitter, Lil Debbie, um, website, LilDebbie.org. How did I forget my website? Because you're high. I'm high, but yes, .org. Because that com was taken. I don't know who took it. Like, who's LilDebbie.com? We don't know. Who knows? Somebody got to find out. Yeah. And I'm not cashing you out either. Fuck that. <laughs> Holding the web website ransom and shit. Word up. Where could they get at you at? Twitter. Probably. L1L Debbie. Uh, Instagram. Debbie Cakes for 20. Word in the up. streets. A lot of people see me in the streets. If you see me in the streets, say, what's up? I'm chill. We can smoke could blaze up but i need to see you break it down and like roll it don't ever come pre-rolled because that's an instant no yeah bitches ain't smoking pre-rolled shit anywhere i need to see you roll it up you heard it right here guys Word that's up. a safe way to smoke with strangers that's right <laughs> yeah yeah don't be coming with no pre-rolls with to me neither uh-uh no nah. <laughs> all right Hey, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to get in the smoke box. Thanks for having me. I'm fucking high and shit. So am I. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Holla at us. Leave comments and all that. I know you will. Leave nice comments like how Debbie's so cute and like how I can smoke and shit. I'm smoking. Bad I got a blunt, you see? Yeah. Blunt. That's right. We say peace from right here. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>